Hey everyone, it's your girl Lexi Wilson coming at you live and a little kerfuffled, perplexed, all the things. I'm sorry that I'm a little bit late. I was trying to figure out how to do this because I'm doing things a little bit differently today. Um, so I was having trouble and I also am on my phone as opposed to my computer because I didn't realize that I'd have to be on my phone to do what I wanted to do today. Uh, but I'm really excited about today's show because as you can probably read from the info bar, uh, we have a guest, okay? We doing it and I'm very excited about today's guest because, hi Brianna, because, um, I, we have never actually done a live together and literally I, like this girl is like my sister. So it's crazy that we've never done a live together. Like it's just crazy. Um, so I'm really excited. And then the topic that we're touching on today is so necessary. It's a conversation that I love to have. And so I am really, really excited. Plus there's a chance that you can come hang out with us. Um, literally hang out with us. So uh, we're gonna talk about that today too. So I'm really, really excited. And if you're all about community, if you're all about growing and trying to find like-minded people, then this is the episode for you. If you find that while you're watching this, you're like, you know what? They are preaching to me. I love it, I feel inspired, I feel loved. Then please share this video because if you feel inspired, it means that somebody else out there also can feel inspired and they're looking for this there's been plenty of times where i've been scrolling on facebook looking for encouragement looking for a sign looking for something on my news feed you know and plenty of times i didn't find it and plenty of times i did uh, but when you actually share this video there might be somebody who right now is struggling wants some encouragement wants a sign wants a community and by you sharing this on your news feed that person gets a chance to see it too so Please do me the honor of sharing this video if you find that it is encouraging and empowering for you. If you don't, then that's okay too. Um, but if you do, please share this out. And uh, also, it's just encouraging. I love seeing whenever you guys share something because it just makes me feel like, okay, then what I said was important, it mattered, it made a difference, and that always feels good. Um, the funny thing right now is Facebook wants to tag Amber Aziza in my <laughs> video, which I love because I love her so much. She is so beautiful, so I feel like a queen right now that they're confusing us. Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. My guest is a former licensed social worker. Now she is a podcast host, which I love. I love if you guys, I just finished listening to an episode about sabotage, like self-sabotage. And she shared a very candid story of her own struggles with that. If you, if you struggle with self-sabotage, you need to listen to her show. It's called empower you empowered you listen to that podcast. It's really, really great. Um, she also does a lot of ton of live videos as well too. And she's a spiritual empowerment coach, which I love. And she's my sister and I love it. Don't worry, girl. I got you. Can I, do, can I, can I just share you? Can I share you? Can I promote you girl? <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to let you on because I had, I had to let you on. Oh wait, hold on. Why is it not letting me let you on? <laughs> hold on. Why is it not? Okay. Wait, Kelly. No, that's not working. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> you know I love you so much, girl. How do I send this out? Oh, no. Is that a share button? My bad. I didn't mean to share this. Okay, so yeah. So now try it again now, and then I will let you in. Wait. No, that's a tag button. Wow, this is really cool to see all these buttons, though. Uh, I will say that because I've never played with the buttons while I was live, so I never know, like, Ooh, look at, oh, hold on. Oh wait, no, this is a game. I don't want to do that. There's like a draw game. Kelly, um, send out, you know, request me. It's not allowing you to, okay, come back, go get off and come back in and see if that works. Hopefully it does. Cause I, I'm not, I'm not about, cause it did allow me earlier. Like I saw it come up. It was just, I was still talking. So I was like, hold on. Allow your viewers to request to join you. Yes. There we go, add. Oh, hold on. Yup, I got you to go live with you. Hopefully this thing will work. Come on. Both 
have such like fire energy. So I'm sorry. Thank you so much for having me on, Dave. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Of course. you're on your own. You're gorgeous. Bye. 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 My um, phone stand broke, so I have to get a new one. And I'm, ho I'm hoping it doesn't overheat, so. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Hopefully it doesn't. We're going to find it doesn't overheat. Is there, is there an echo or anything? No, okay. No, okay, good, good. I just want to make sure that they're going to sound good, hopefully. Okay, okay. Cool. So, so, you guys if you guys are watching live, go ahead and put live in the comments. And if you're and watching, if you're watching, I'm going to keep playing with my friend, 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 my friend,
how many more of you guys need the same sort of transformation? So although I love her so much, so I speak up her, of her because I do love her, but also, you guys, she knows her shit for real. Like she can really help you and transform things that you thought, if you're struggling with depression, if you're struggling with feeling lost and feeling confused about where you're at, I am telling you, Kelly is the person that you need to talk to. The things that she can do is just out of this world. So that's why this live is Aww. here. That's why we're having this conversation. So let's first talk Aww, about- thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. That was so sweet. Thank you so much, babe. I totally yeah. received that. Thank you so much. All the love, all of it. Okay. <laughs> okay, give us some hearts, guys. Let's, let's show some Kelly some love. Okay. So the thing that I want to talk about first is like the retreat in the sense of like what inspired you to create this retreat? Like, why did you feel like it was necessary to even do this? Yeah. So basically what we teach in the retreat is literally everything I needed to go from where I was like lost. I was confused. I didn't know what my purpose was. I didn't know why I kept getting in my own way. I had so many insecurities. I felt so not good enough. And I just like, it was very, it was very difficult. And I've gotten a couple of those like times, like I feel like we all have. Right. And I, I, it actually came during a really low point in my life. Um, in my business financially, I was very like, I had like literally $7 in all my accounts, you know, because yeah, uh, yeah, last year, last year. (laughs) Yeah. The financial scarcity, the fears, it was crazy. And from there I made the decision. I was like, no, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to implement the tools I have. I'm going to implement the resources I have, the supports I have. I'm going to keep going. And literally like a month, a month later, I got guided to host my first ever retreat. And then when I thought like, oh, what should I talk about is literally everything, everything I've done Mm -hmm. to help me get overcome these like really dark times in my life. And I, this is our third empowered you retreat. And literally like, it's only gets better and better and better. It's freaking amazing. Yeah. (laughs) I'm so excited. So then who is it for? Like when you think of, is it that person, obviously they're going through dark times and everything. What's the thought process that that person is going through? What are the questions that they might have that that you're answering at the retreat? Yeah, so it's definitely for the women. That's a great question. It's definitely for the women who are like, they, a lot of them know that like personal development or the tools, or they try to implement all these things, but there's still a disconnect. Like there's still, there's the desire and they still, there's some, there's something not fitting. They right. either get in their own way, either the fears, insecurities, patterns, habits, whether they don't even know what it is. And it could be in any area. Like it could be relationship, personal, professional, like any area we in this retreat we uncover that we shift it we heal it we help you learn like the women that are just so um caught up in their head like the fear-based mm. thoughts the um stories the patterns the self-sabotaging like they just keep getting in their own way and they're like why do i get in my own way and they and they may feel lost they may feel confused yeah. this retreat will serve them because it's so crazy like last retreat we had so a variety of different um, women that had different desires, but yeah. like people have gotten pregnant, lost like 20 pounds, found their dream homes, started their business, um, created a business, revamped their business. Like um, there's so many shifts. So yeah. it's like gotten more like that um, peace, inner peace and right. clarity and guidance and direction. So it's hard to like pinpoint it because literally anything you desire, anything you need, like it will happen at this retreat. <laughs> right. You know right. I mean? Cause I think that it's like, it's about, and I can, I can attest to this just in knowing you that I think that it's like, it's a space where you can re- truly remove the blocks that are in your way, because even mm-hmm. just the conversations that we have, oftentimes there's something that you say that will help me to unpack something that I'm like, whoa, whoa, hold on, which is why it's like I end up getting super deep. But I really think that that <laughs> I really think that that's often triggered by the words that you often say. They're very um, healing and they give a sense of clarity that sometimes you're like, oh, whoa, hold on, uh-huh. I didn't see that before, and now all of a sudden I see it. So I can see how going to the retreat and physically being in your energy can allow people to then remove those blocks if they're struggling with, you know, overthinking and uh, which is another sign of anxiety, or if they're struggling with just feeling lost, which could also indicate depression, that it's like, I can mm-hmm. see how by being in your energy and then getting the tools that you, that has helped you to find clarity and direction, but then help somebody else remove those blocks so that way they can be open to finally getting pregnant, to finally losing the weight. Cause all those things sometimes, 
especially things like weight, we hold on to it and it serves as a way to block us or protect us from something that we're either mm-hmm. too scared to go after or too scared to lose or whatever the case is. So being mm-hmm. in that energy and mm-hmm. learning those tools can help us to emotionally remove those things and then make room for the physical aspects, whether it be losing weight, pregnancy, mm-hmm. bringing love into your life, whatever to actually mm-hmm. happen. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Queen. Yeah. But the best part is that it's like you think it's one thing, right? And right. then through the work, you d- you uncover that it's some deep shit that's in your subconscious mind, like yeah. deep. Like it, and um, neuroscience have agreed, like all the neuroscientists have agreed that 95% of our reality comes from the programming in our subconscious mind, mm-hmm. right? So like the habitual patterns, habits, decisions, reactions, emotions, the, everything that comes together, ha- language to create your reality comes from your subconscious mind. Right. So I'm thinking about like one particular, um, woman we had at our last retreat she was like she wanted to she was going through a divorce and that was tough and she wanted to revamp her business and she just didn't know where to start and she wanted to work on like other things and what came through with Elvita with the psyche and with just you know problem was that it actually actually stems from her childhood her mother told her never to feel so she never like wanted to like if she would get emotional she'll be like okay I'm not gonna feel that I'm gonna just be positive I'm just gonna keep going blah 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 and she didn't allow herself to really feel yeah and that was blocking her in healing it was blocking her and then releasing it was blocking her in every area of her life but if you would have asked her like consciously she would have never in a million years thought it was something stemmed from childhood from what her mom used to ingrain in her like it was crazy it was crazy which that leads me so beautifully said because that leads me to for a lot of people that is reality right that it's like okay 90 Mm percent of everything that's happening to me is really coming from a subconscious point of view that's the part of my body that mm-hmm. I truly cannot control. So if something else, if something is going on, um, I can't that I can't identify, or I find that I do finally identify. Oh well, this is it's this thing from my childhood. How can I mm-hmm. kind of get rid of that thought or get rid of those issues if they're so deep seated? And this, I think, is one of the most transformational parts and the unique parts of this retreat is the fact that Kelly and her friend Elvira our friend over there, because technically she's both of ours, but (laughs) she actually can can help to deal with those subconscious things that come up, the parts of you that you really can't identify, the parts of you that you struggle to control because it's so deep rooted. What makes their retreat unique is the fact that they have a way to manage to help heal that subconscious part, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah, and it, it's called Psyche. Mm-hmm. So Psyche is a healing modality. It's rapid. It's a rapid healing modality that goes in your subconscious mind. And it helps dis, uh, reprogram disempowering beliefs to empowering beliefs. It helps you remove negative or heavy charges on certain traumas, helps you with forgiveness. It helps you in so many ways. And I personally have done so much work with Elvita with Psyche because not only is she my girlfriend, my you know social sister, but also like my coach as well. We coach each other. So she, like, I've lost weight with her. I've, like, mm-hmm. opened up my heart more with her. My business has expanded with Psyche. Like, I uncovered that me not wanting to date or have a relationship or, like, grow a family, because I'm 29. Like, you would think I would be thinking about that, but I'm not. <laughs> and through Psyche, I recognized it came from old-ass money stories that were in my subconscious mm-hmm. mind yeah. that told me that, oh, no, like, I, I can't I can't provide for a family. So I would subconsciously self-sabotage myself and close my heart because I my money stories that were not conscious at right. all. So it was so mind-blowing. It was so powerful. Oh, and I would I never knew. That. I wouldn't. And you... And you and me, baby, we're both mental health professionals. We're both trained. We know the power in talk therapy. We know the power in all these different types of modalities. But what I uncovered in that one psyche session that was lasted maybe like five to six minutes was like, what the F? That would never have come up ever right. in right. regular talk therapy. Right. Because it's so deep seated. And that's where I think like that's honestly, yeah. you guys, for so many of you who have been seeing, again, my transformation, I will attribute a lot of my personal, and this is not, I'm not a doctor, I'm not whatever, this is just my personal story. I feel that a lot of the healing that I've received in the last couple of weeks has a lot to do with my depression being able to go away has a lot to do with the psyche treatments. I'm going to have Avera on this, um, 
I don't I don't know if it's a show, but whatever I am doing, I'm gonna have her on a live with yeah. me because I really want her to go in depth about this particular type of modality and how healing it is and what it does. Um, but I will say for me, and like I said, I'm not making any claims. I honestly feel like it really has helped me to eliminate my depression. I've had I've been struggling with this mm. thing for about a year. And it got significantly worse over the winter. And like I said, I've shared that with you guys because I want to show you that you can still be, you know, a high performer. You can still be all the things and still struggle with mental health issues. Like it, it doesn't, you know, only choose certain types of people, mm -hmm. certain colors of people, certain mm -hmm. ages. Depression does whatever it does, mm -hmm. whenever it chooses to do it. Hi, Dana. Hi, Rochelle. Um, so with that being said, um, I have been struggling, going to different counselors, trying so many different things. And all those things have been helpful, but this transformation in terms of the ability to feel confident enough to go and go to start acting school, to feel to confident enough to post consistently, to keep providing you guys such great things. Like now all of a sudden I'm going live significantly more than I was this entire year. I honestly believe it's because of the Psyche K treatments. Like I really do think that it has helped me to heal deep wounds that I had, emotional wounds that I had in my head that were not, you know, being, um, address and a lot of it was because I mm -hmm. think it was conscious things that I was focusing on not the subconscious which is what we were able to tap into in our sessions I've done mm -hmm. two it's been amazing I have another one tomorrow and I'm really excited about it so th this is something as well that's going to be available at the retreat which is why I was like yes. okay after I had my experiences I was like okay first of all who's gonna come with us like you gotta come because if you're struggling <laughs> that are holding you back or you just feel like you don't have control of your self-confidence your belief your own beliefs and if you feel isolated like i don't have friends to connect with to have these conversations with coming to this retreat not only will you get to hang out with us but at the same mm -hmm. time you'll get to finally get some of those questions answered those things that you've been struggling with because we both know like we started our spiritual journey pretty like right at the same time and so it's like, mm -hmm. we know those questions that you have at the beginning. And we also know the challenges that life can bring us, even when you're sure in your faith that can rock you and make mm -hmm. you lose it a little mm -hmm. bit. And so I really feel like this is a, a space yeah. where you can find that healing and that community. Yes, queen. I love the community piece. Like it's crazy. The statistics that loneliness is worse for your health than smoking 15 cigarettes oh, a day. I believe it though. Lo loneliness. Yeah, yeah. Loneliness yeah. is worse than obesity, like studies wow. have shown. And in the Western world, it's gone up, like I forget the percentage, but like yeah. crazy amount of like, like loneliness is no joke. And the community that is formed at these retreats, because it's, we are very intentional with everything we do. And it's such a safe space. And we always set the intention that whoever's meant to be there will be there. And it's so beautiful because everyone is able to take their mask off, get out of their head, into their heart. Everyone is loved. Everyone's accepted. Everyone's heard. Everyone's seen. Everyone's uplifted. We laugh. We like, some people cry. And that's great. That's great of releasing. We play to dance together. We eat together, we break bread together. Like it's just, a, we, it's just amazing. And I, that for me, honestly, is what does it for me. I love the community piece and I love how it's like, I'll share whatever comes to my mind, but I encourage the women, like if a download comes to you for someone else, say it, right. or, you know, um, don't hold back because one person's story helped shift three other people's story in that same wow. retreat. It was my, like, I just love watching that and like yeah. witnessing that. And it's just, there's so much power in community and unity and like sisterhood. It's like, and that safe space, it's like so yes. important, you know? That's, that's what I think a lot of people right now are going through so many transformations in their lives, like transitions, whether it's, you know, finding that you are questioning the beliefs that you've always had since childhood and all of a sudden you feel more inquisitive, whether it is feeling completely lonely and isolated. I mean, we are struggling in this country with loneliness on a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the things that we mm -hmm. do with social media can trigger those feelings of loneliness. I personally get it. That's what I was struggling with. I think a huge reason why I was struggling mm -hmm. with depression was my own loneliness in moving to a new place and not having, you know, local friends that I was used to being able to hang out with. So these things, it's like putting mm -hmm. us all in this position where we are needing and craving community and connection and validation. And I know for myself, when mm -hmm. I first started on this journey of finding 
what I believe and not just what my family believed, not just what I was being taught to believe by society. But when I started this journey, the thing that really gave me a sense of empowerment is hanging out with other people, hearing other people's questions, mm -hmm. seeing what, what transformations were happening for other people. That's what helped me to be like, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. I'm not alone in having these same types of questions. I'm not alone in having the same types of signs or signals. Like when you get to hang mm -hmm. out with people mm -hmm. who get it, and provide a safe space for you mm -hmm. to ask those questions, for you to explore who you are as a woman in your feminine energy and as a as a spiritual mm -hmm. being. When you're allowed to be in that safe space, magic truly happens and confidence naturally comes from that space because you're actually mm -hmm. allowing yourself to have conversations that open you up in a way that maybe your present day life isn't allowing you to do so. Oh my God, babe, you're such an excellent speaker, girl. Like you just are so amazing. Like, yes, queen. <laughs> like you. seriously, everything, like you're so eloquent. You're so, you express yourself so well. And it's like, God, girl, you're good. But exactly oh that, babe, exactly that. And what I love is like how we structured the retreat is it's like, I, if I wish I had this retreat back in the day, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, or not even back in the day, even a year ago, I wish I had this retreat because um, how we schedule, how we like, doing it it's like friday and saturday it's transformation it's learning to distinguish your ego versus your soul and learning how to disempower your ego so your ego that fear-based you know critic is not driving the driving your life but your soul right. is right. and then day two is all about strengthening your intuition your connection to spirituality but also we provide hands-on healing tools that are in the workbook that you can always go back to as you move on in life right but, so we do hands-on healing but then Elvita does Psyche on all the women personal, like in a personalized room. It's completely customized. But basically what comes up on Friday and Saturday is probably what you're going to do Psyche on. But, I mean, you'll see. Right. Um, so Friday and Saturday is deep. It's heavy shit. We're still going to have fun because, you know, when we eat and we take a break and we're still going to bond. But Sunday is like Sunday fun day. Like Sunday is when you're able to release all that stagnant energy. Because I don't know about you, babe, but I've been to retreats where I'm literally exhausted. Yes. Exhausted. Yeah. Because in a, I get it. Like energetically, you're moving shit around. You're healing. Right. It takes a lot from you. But yeah. Sunday is designed to really fire you up and release that stagnant energy. So I start with an inner child healing um, meditation. Mm -hmm. And then just to get into like joy, like childlike essence then my girl margo comes in she teaches a shake your soul dance class and we have so much fun and you don't have to be a dancer for that yeah your energy you'll balance your chakras your release stagnant energy we all have fun we do like a soul train line it's such a good time like such a good time <laughs> and then we have um my girl katie who's doing reiki on all the women like in their own private room and my girl sarah who i interviewed on my podcast she's freaking amazing she's coming in and she's doing a physical massage on the women but also energetic where you, she works with their nervous system and yes. she releases past traumas it's like incredible like me and alvita are signing up for that we're like we want that too <laughs> like yeah. um so we're super excited everything's included all the meals there's a hot tub um there's a workbook gift bag like it's basically going to be everything you didn't even know you needed. Like, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for that, too, because I saw the pictures. You guys, this place is gorgeous. It's amazingly gorgeous. So I cannot wait. I'll, I'll re-show some of the pictures and everything like this after so you guys can check it out. But it looks so gorgeous and so relaxing. And I'm definitely excited about being able to just be in that house because it looks amazing. And then all those other things. Oh, like it's totally great because it's hitting so many different points, whether it's community, whether it's physical, whether it's spiritual, whether it's literally moving your body, like all the different things that help us to feel, you know, it's kind of like we're all plants, you know, we need food, we need water, we need sunshine, <laughs> we need to move, like all that. And it's like, that's what you're getting here is that re like that growth back into you kind of like a refeed back into you, which is awesome. So you can grow. So I yes. definitely think this is going to be so much Oh, my God, girl. Yes. yes. That's our tagline. Em empowered you. Disconnect to reconnect with your mind, body, soul. Yes. So thank you for saying that because it's yes. so true. And yeah, it's th now. exactly so true. Right. Yeah, I know, I girl. That. You're so amazing. Like, you're such a great speaker. It's amazing. <laughs> like, And for your podcast, babe, for your podcast, girl, you got to interview people because you're so good at it. Oh, like, you're really you. good at it, girl. I like. Know. Having this conversation with you and then being able to just like 
just ask those questions because a lot of these questions, it's like, it's, you know, I'm curious myself, you guys, I'm going to be going to this retreat. It's in November. It's November 1st through the, wait, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th? November 4th. 4th, right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, Morning, that. yeah. Um, and it'll be a, an opportunity to hang out with us. But the thing is, you guys, you have to make a decision fast because registration closes tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And it's in Lake Harmony, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah. Lake it's Harmony, in Lake Harmony, also, Pennsylvania. I should like say that. Side note, you guys, I, I do have to mention this, <laughs> but if you're a fan of the office, um, the, the airline that you have to fly into, it's in Scranton, Pennsylvania, which I am freaking, freaking out about because Scranton, <laughs> Pennsylvania is where the office is based on. <laughs> so when I saw that oh. I was flying from there, I was like, oh my God. Oh my God, that's so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and also, what we didn't even recognize, the house is in Lake Harmony, Pennsylvania. We didn't even connect that, oh my God, this retreat is going to help you bring harmony into harmony. your life. Like, uh, no. drop the mic. Like, could it be any more aligned? Right. That's uh, we didn't even recognize that. That is crazy. I didn't recognize it either until you just said it. But I'm like, oh my God, of course this would be Lake Harmony. Oh, I love this. Yeah. yeah it's going to be so much fun. I'm really, really thrilled and excited. Um, not only will you get to hang out with me, because I'll be there this, for that November. She has one in October as well, which is awesome. And that one sold out so fast. So you guys need to jump on this, because like I said, tomorrow registration closes. So honestly, if you've been in that space where you have been feeling a little bit, either one, if you've seen me post about it and you've been questioning and thinking, should I do it? This is your sign. It is time for you to invest in yourself, invest in your spirituality, and start moving in that direction. Um, but if this is the first time that you're hearing it and you're like, okay, I need to know more, definitely reach out to Kelly so she can tell you a little bit more mm -hmm. and give you guys information on what the next steps need to be. Uh, and like I said, I'll be there at the mm -hmm. November one, so it would also just be awesome to be able to hang out with my own friends there and have this journey together because that has been probably doing my spiritual journey with my friends has probably been the most amazing thing for myself is having, I mean, I tell you guys, I will reach out to Kelly and I'll be like, girl, I need some cards, man. I'm struggling. I don't know what to do. You know, all this stuff. And she's there. There's, it feels amazing when you have friends who have the same faith, who can help you to either stay on course. If you've lost yourself a little bit, you need to be reminded or mm -hmm. to give you a sense of comfort when you do feel that loneliness and that, that, you know, question about life. So this is definitely the space, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. invest in yourself totally. truly and find that community because it will give you so much confidence and so much um, the friends that you've been wanting to have and all of that you'll find by taking this leap. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. Thank you so much, babe. And yeah, it's spiritual, but it's personal as well. And yeah. it's called Empowered You for a reason because you're going to leave feeling super empowered in who <laughs> you are and what you have to offer the world and share your light. And it's just going to be freaking awesome. And I'm so excited. Thank you for cho like honoring for choosing us and honoring your intuition, honoring the call and not letting the call go to voicemail because I know mm -hmm. a lot of people it goes to voicemail. So I really like appreciate that. You know, we were like, I love that you trust me with your energy and you're just a beautiful, like a beautiful soul. I'm so grateful to be connected with you. And I can't wait to like really meet you like in person I so I can hug you and like pick you up. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I cannot wait. Literally. Well, okay, guys, that's all that I have. I'm trying to think. Oh, no, we're gonna I'm trying to think because you're so tiny. So I'm I like, I feel like I'm going to have to pick you up. I'm like trying to picture so because I don't, it's. <laughs> yeah it's i'm excited though like but i'm trying to picture like oh she's gonna be t little i'm five seven five seven you guys and i'm five like i'm five one on a really good day but i'm five feet i can't, <laughs> I can't wait girl i'm like cannot wait i can't wait um thank you so much thank you so much for having me babe i really appreciate it this was awesome so much fun yay good 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 i'm so happy oh and to share in regards to the retreat something that you were like you guys gotta know this or anything at all no just if okay. you have any if you're feeling the call reach out to me and i'll give you the information and we'll see if we're a good fit and we'll go from there so Perfect. okay thank Bye. you so much okay, babe guys, you're totally welcome and thank you all for watching this whether you caught it live or whether you caught the replay angel i see all the hearts i love you so much girl <laughs> and thank you katrina thank and you for also being
here too. We really, really had fun just talking with you guys. And like I said, if you're interested at all or curious about the retreat, I would love to have you there. Honestly, if you, especially if you've been my friend list, on my friend list for a long time, let's meet in person. Like, what better way? So this would be so much fun. And Kelly, thank you so much for being a guest on my show because I'm so excited. I'm really happy that I got to share this. And like I said, I know that you guys, if you could just be in her energy, you would experience so much love and healing and Aww. sense of like comfort that you're probably looking for. And that's why I wanted to do this show because it wasn't just about, you know, sharing the retreat. It was also about you giving um, you guys a chance to connect with people who can give you what you need. You know, a lot of you guys are on Facebook. Aww. You are searching for answers. You are searching for community. You are searching for friends. And I want to use my platform to connect you guys, to show, you know, what's available. And Kelly is totally available. So reach out to her because Aww. I know that this retreat is going to be so transformational for you if you're watching this. And I love you, Kelly. <laughs> Thank you. My cheeks are hurting from smiling so much. Aww. Thank you so much. I receive, babe. I receive your love so much. Thank you. Good. Uh, seriously. <laughs> I know. You're going to like massage. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> her, her energy is amazing. She's an incredible coach and human if you're feeling called to be a human. Aw, we love you, Aww. Angel. I love you, babe. <laughs> I love you, babe. You the best. Mwah, you rock. All right, everybody. Well, thanks so much for spending so much time with us. I hope that you have a wonderful and amazing day. Mwah. Bye.